Hi, I'm Neil Curtis from the website neilcurtis.me and in this quick tutorial we're going to add a related posts area to a WordPress post and to do this we're going to use the views plugin which is part of the toolset suite of plugins. This toolset tutorial will quickly show you how to add a related posts list in the sidebar of your WordPress website. So in this case we have a property which is assigned the category properties and on the right hand sidebar we have a list of three related posts which are three other properties that you can look at. Here we have an example post which is of a lakeside property and this post has been assigned the category properties and at the moment we have a sidebar here on the right but there is nothing shown in the sidebar and what we want to show here is related posts to this post here so we want to show other property posts that we have and if we have a look in our list of posts currently we have six posts and we have two posts that are assigned to the category agents and four posts that are assigned to the category properties so we only want to show these properties posts in the sidebar of other properties and these agent posts in the sidebar of other agents and this could involve some complicated coding but we can instead use the views plugin which will make this so much easier for us so if we go down to the views tab in our dashboard and select this then we just need to add a new view we want to display all results and we need to name this view so we'll call it related post by category We just click create view and now we come to the views window and we just follow down this process so first of all what do we want to show in this view we want to show posts and then we have these extra options how do we want to order this we want to order them randomly and then do we need to have a limit we'll say we only want to show a maximum of three posts and then now we need to set the query filter to show what we want to show and we click add a filter and in this drop down we will choose categories then now we get these options then we want to say set by the current page so it will look to see what the category of the page or post you are on and then show the related post to this current page. And that is all of the setting up and now we need to go down to the loop output which is basically what is shown. So everything to show goes between these two loop sections. So we want to show a title of the post and we want it to be clickable. So we click on this fields and views tab and we select title with a link. And then we want to control the size of this. We want it to be an H3 heading size. So we'll put some HTML tags around this link. Then beneath the title we want to show the featured image so again we'll select this tab and this time we'll select the featured image and we want this featured image to be large so we can modify the short code to simply put size equals large and then finally we want to have a read more link so people can click this and go through and see more about this particular post in the sidebar so we'll have the link code of a href equals and then we want to link through to the url of the post again we click this fields and views tabs and this time we go url and then we'll have our text which will be read more 
have a closing link HTML code and it is as simple as that. So I'll just click save all sections at once. But now we've created this view, we need to say show this view in the sidebar of our posts. So to do that, we go appearance and then widgets. And this particular theme has a second sidebar and a first sidebar, and it is a second sidebar that is shown on the right. So I'm going to remove this little text widget that's in there at the moment, and I'm going to place in the special WP Views widget. And we want to show the view related post by category that we just set up. And I want to give it a title, so we'll say related posts. Now if we go through to our example property, and if I refresh this, you will see that we have related posts and it's shown three properties at random from the four we could choose. So I refresh the page again, you see the order is changed and it's random. But this is showing only the properties category that we set here. But what happens if we look at an agents? It should show only agents. So if we go through to a list of posts and we view one of our agents, you'll see it's only showing the other agent here and not the properties because they're both linked by category. So that is how you can easily set related posts in your website. Okay, I hope you found that video useful and make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can hear about any new videos as soon as I put them on there. And also head over to my website at www.neilcurtis.me where you'll find lots more tool set tutorials and also lots of other WordPress guides and tutorials.